Hi everyone and welcome to another Live Safe Tool video. This video will be um, going over how to create a list projection using the list software. Sorry, a list subnational projection using the list software. Um, if you're interested more in the concept behind subnational projections in lists, there's a separate uh, video available on our website called Subnational uh, Projections in Lists that I'd invite you um, to go check out before. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is to pull up uh, our Spectrum software. If you don't know how to get to this page, um, I would recommend starting first with creating a baseline projection in which we go over a little bit how, uh, more in depth and more slowly how to get oriented with the software. So once I've pulled up my Spectrum, I turn to Tools, go into More Tools, and then come find my subnational wizard down here and click on it. And this page opens up. So what we're going to be doing is creating a subnational projection, meaning a projection that will have the characteristics of the subnational population of interest. So similarly to how I would for a normal list projection, the first thing I'm going to be doing is um, create, uh, adding a name to my subnational projection. So Malawi Northern 2025. So for the purpose of this example, I'm choosing to use Malawi. Um, I've given my sub my subregional, sorry, subnational region, um, and then the year of the end of my projection over here. So now I'm going to, as you can imagine, come find in my country, Malawi. Um, my region will be the northern region. And then down here, um, this will allow me to select which survey I want to pull um, my data from. So the most recent one for Malawi was done in 2015, DHS 2015, so automatically the most recent one will be pre-selected. Um, the reason that we've done this this way is because um, some regions may change over time. Some countries um, have new regions that are created that may not be available in previous editions of the DHS or of the mix. Um, so the options that are available to you here will depend on whether or not these surveys have this corresponding region available in them. So for now, I'm happy with my DHS 2015 because it is the most recent one. Um, similarly to a normal list projection, I want to select my first year and my final year. So my first year, I'll leave it as 2015, and the final year, it will be my 2025. Um, I don't want to import data from a custom projection, so I will just move right along to Demproj. So essentially what the subnational wizard is doing is walking us through all of the different um, modules that are available in the Spectrum software in order to create this um, subnational projection for us. Um, and so we'll be starting with the Demproj. So just as a quick overview of this page, you'll see here we have our data source um, and we have for most almost everything except this very first line of over here, we have the option to select default data or to use my own data. Um, the default data will be the data that's pre-selected um, in by the list software. And use my own data is an option that I have to use any time that I have data um, that I want to use um, from a separate source that is not preloaded um, in the list software. This, is, this will be true uh, for everything except, as I just mentioned, for first year population. So this is the one piece of data that I absolutely have to select. I can't uncheck this box. Um, I must enter this information. And to do so, I will go here and enter my estimates. So um, this is being pulled, the, sub the national population is being pulled from Demproj directly. And for my subnational population, um, I am the one who needs to input that. So in order to do so, I will go pull up my Malawi uh, census. 
And I'm choosing to use the census because it's a good data source, but um, if you had a separate or different source that you wanted to use, you're, of course, welcome to do so. I happen to know that the information I want is on page 25, so I said I was looking at the northern region, um, and I'm going to use my 2018 data um, because I feel like it's appropriate for use. And there we go. I've entered my data here. I'm done with this page. I don't want to modify my total fertility rate, so I'm going to move along um, here. Once again, it's the same concept. If I had data that I wanted to use, I could check the opposite box and then come down here and enter some estimates for um, the intervention coverage of these interventions. Um, in this example, I do not, therefore I will move forward. Um, the same concept applies for the list page. Um, so always there's default data or using my own data. Some things to highlight here is that um, this, these first two interventions that have this national here, um, the data for these two will be, will be coming from um, the, well, in this case, they'll both be coming from the DHS, but from the survey selected. Uh, but we'll be using the national value rather than subnational value because we don't have access to subnational data. Down here um, for subnational, all of these um, elements that are included here, we actually do have um, some limited subnational data that is available and that is being pulled from respective sources. Um, so that is why this subnational. Um, this is categorized as having some national data. And then finally, we have some um, elements down here that are being calculated. So we're using coverage differentials to actually calculate the values um, for this, our subnational region, in this case, the northern region, uh, for each one of these elements. Um, I don't actually want to modify anything, but I do want to review this page for the intervention coverage. So I'll come here, select Use My Own Data, and then go down into enter estimates. And you'll see what I have here is very similar, if not identical, um, to what I would have in my list coverage um, tab. So if I wanted to modify intervention coverage for any one of these interventions, um, this is where I could do that. And I'd be modifying that coverage for the year 2015 because, as you'll remember, that's the year that I selected as my base year. If I wanted to, I could go through all the tabs and review this information. As I said, I don't actually want to modify anything, so I can go back to using my default data. And then I'm done with lists. I can move to fan plan. I don't have any contraceptive prevalence rate data I would like to enter. So I'll move along to finish. Finish is one last step, uh, last option for me to go. I can click backwards to any one of these um, and make any modifications in case I had forgotten something, but I have not. So I can go ahead and create my subnational projection. Um, it's going to take less a few seconds to do so. Once again, the concept that we've done or what we're creating right now is a projection that will have the characteristics of this Malawi northern region um, from 2015 to 2025. And our, um, in our projection name came up here. It's also down here. As always in LIS, the first thing you must do is to save it to make sure that your projection doesn't disappear. And then if I wanted, now I can treat this projection as I would um, treat any other list um, projection. So I can go into list, go into coverage, and now I can start scaling up any intervention of interest, um, bring it, use my same duplication or interpolation um, kind of functionalities down here, and then I could go into my results and see any results of interest. Um, based on the modifications or the scale-ups that I may have done in my coverage tab. Um, so that is how you use the 
a subnational uh, wizard tool. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you, um, and thank you very much for listening.